Sunday afternoon, everybody. Greg here, Greg Cook Toy Photography. So, we're in my studio, my studio office, and I've actually done some rearranging. I've done a little bit different of the layout, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Got some floating shelves, moved my big shelf over, and just trying to make things a little bit more entertaining. So, as you can see, we have a theme for today. Uh, today is Black Panther theme day. Everything is about Black Panther. So, we did the pops uh, the other night. Tried to find a chase. Didn't. That's okay. Now I got six Black Panther pops. But, I've got some Walmart exclusives. Got Black Panther, that Walmart exclusive there. I've got uh, Nokia, I have no idea. Got the Killmonger, and I picked this one up actually today. I uh, went to Walmart, and this is the first time I've seen this one, and it's really, really cool. However, I promised something a couple of videos ago, and today is the day. So, we have a Black Panther theme, but what we're going to do is I'm going to unbox not any of these, but I'm actually going to unbox the Play Arts Black Panther. So this is what we're going to do today. Right there he is. Can't really tell in the packaging, but uh, yeah, this is it right here. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to move everything out of the way. I'm going to get my mind right. And we're going to unbox this bad boy. So give me a minute or two. I'll be right back. And we will see what we can come up with. All right. We're back. Here it is. Marvel Universe Variant Play Arts Black Panther. So we got some really, really cool... Really cool box art. Um, I've showed you the inside, but the uh, far reaching evils, oppressive forces, blah, blah, blah. A little bit of a storyline right there. The uh, got a little bit of a comic strip going on on the back, and just the normal play arts on the side. So I did cheat, I did undo the tape. You guys don't. Does it really matter if you see me struggle? No. So let's get this thing out. I've had this thing for a couple of weeks. I actually picked this up at Oxford Comics and Games. Um, that's interesting. So, It actually has a stand, but I'm trying my best to figure out, oh there it is, how, <laughs> how it comes out. I'm losing my mind. Uh, oh. oh, I know how it is. Anyway, we'll worry about that in a minute. We'll worry about the stand in a minute. So, let's open this bad boy up. I don't think there's any way that you can quietly remove clamshells. I, I don't know. All right. First and foremost, it is definitely pretty badass. Not gonna lie. Looks like we have uh, six extra pair of hands, uh, two daggers, looks like some holsters, but let's get him out. Wow, this thing, it's heavy. It's got some weight to it, but this thing is literally amazing. Wow, the, uh, the paint is, is crazy insane. Let's see if we can get him to stand up right there. Don't move. 
All right, so let's see here. What else we got going on here? Looks like we got two holsters, two daggers. I'm trying to see what the other. Not not a tremendous amount of accessories, but hey, you know, that's okay. Make sure there's nothing hiding, and there's not. So, all right, first and foremost, we have a pair of uh, fisted hands that actually look like something could slide down in them. And I think I know what it is. We have this crazy looking, uh, it's almost like this type pose. It's a, it's a unusual hand sculpt. And we have this gripping style, sort of like I'm gonna rip your throat out <laughs> grip. Uh, we have two knives right there and we have two sheaths for the blades. Yep, that is what they're for. And these actually are pinned. So I'm curious. I think I just saw where they go. I think I did. I'm not 100% sure where these actually go, but I'm going to take a guess. I don't think it, I don't know. There's two holes in the back of the belt right here. So parts of me's thinking that might be where they go. But anyway, let's, uh, and I'll definitely let you guys get a closer look at it um, here momentarily. Got some good, uh, that's decent. I mean, that's that's decent. It's, it's, it's really, really a, a cool thing. Holy crap. Look at that. That is a knee bend right there. And we have an actual ankle and a toe, an awesome toe pivot. I mean, you can literally put him right there on his toe like that, which is, which is pretty cool. I'm, uh, I'm digging this thing. This thing, this thing is going to be awesome to photograph. I will say this, I, and this uh, just might be my opinion, but I don't know if you can tell or not, but the head sculpt to me is, is sort of Optimus Prime looking. That's what it sort of, when I first looked at it, that's what it sort of reminded me of. Got some really good, I mean, amazing uh, articulation. Like I said, the shoulders, they only go up so far and that's because of the armor, so, but that's okay. Have a bicep pivot, great wrist action. I mean, this is, you can really articulate this thing really, really good. Yeah, so I'm, I'm pretty, uh, I'm pretty stoked about this thing. I mean, I'm really curious to see how extreme you can actually get the poses on this thing. And from what I can tell, I mean, you could you could really get in some, some some crazy serious poses. I mean, you can go straight down. Yeah, not sure. I'm not sure if we can get him in a a uh, one knee position yet. I'll have to play with it. I'll have to play with it to see what the, the limits are. But good joints, great joints. It's a really good detailed uh, figure. Got good side to side. Got a pretty drastic ab crunch, which is great. And again, the, the claws. And believe it or not, these things actually are, uh, they actually have a point to them. They're actually sharp. So, all right, guys, let me, uh, let me get him all set up right quick. And uh, I'm going to try to figure out where 
these things pin in at, because like I said, the only thing I've seen so far is these two holes in the back of the belt. So I don't know. We're gonna, I'm gonna play with that and I'll pose him up and we'll do a close up and I will be right back. Hey guys, we're back. All right, here it is, the Black Panther Play Arts variant. Let me tell you something, this thing is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, this, I'm, I'm, I'm really excited about this. I mean, let's look at the detail. It's absolutely, this one's going to be very, very fun to, to photograph. Not going to lie. Really, really, really cool. Got a little bit of black and purple. The light just really comes off of it good. So, all right, guys, let's, uh, Let's reset the camera and I'll be back here in just a second. Hey, welcome back everybody. So I hope you've enjoyed this uh, unboxing of the Play Arts variant of uh, Black Panther. I'm, I'm really, really, really impressed with this um like i said the the sculpt the the detail in the armor i it's a great fig it's a absolutely great fig and i can't wait to uh see what i can come up with it so but anyway guys so to give you a little bit of uh backstory here so I've done a lot of hunting over the last uh, few weeks, the last couple of months, as a matter of fact. As you can see, I still have some play arts, um, the Robin, the X pool, and the Dead pool that uh, I picked up over the last couple of months. I'm going to do an unboxing uh, video of those. I also have Stormtrooper from uh, Hot Toy, a sideshow that I got to do. I've got some figs, and so yeah, that's uh, what I'm gonna be doing over the next probably next couple of weeks. I'm still gonna do a little bit of hunting, but I need to really catch up on my unboxings, and I'm also gonna be doing a little bit more as far as the photography videos. Um, I've had people reach out to me that said they really missed those. I have plans to build a diorama in my backyard, and I'm gonna do that one if we get some. Uh, decent weather over the next couple of uh, weeks to where I can get out and enjoy it. I'm going to bring the camera out. We're going to do that. So, but in, anyway, that's sort of what I'm going to be doing over the next couple of, uh, next, next few weeks, uh, unbox some stuff, catch up on some things. Uh, I've got a couple of quarter scales back here, right here. I've got the X force quarter scale Deadpool and I've got the Deadpool quarter scale. I've got, ton, I, 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 just, I got a lot of stuff I need to unbox and, and do videos on. So now that I've got my office situated to where I'm happy with it, um, makes it a little bit easier. So until then, please like and subscribe to my channel. Uh, give me a comment. Let me know. Uh, yes, no. As always, thumbs up, thumbs down. I, I don't care. I just want to know. Uh, tell me what you think about my content. Is there anything you want me to do? As always, let me know. Uh, like I said, I've had people reach out to me that want me to do more of the out in the field uh, photography related stuff, which I love to do. But I got to unbox stuff. <laughs> I've got to get some stuff unboxed so I can actually get out. Uh, I'm actually starting to get a little organization in my world here. You can't see it. Uh, I'll probably take a picture here in a little while and post it on the Syndicate webpage. But I've got my floating shelves up. 
I've got some of my photos I've taken of some of the figs framed and hung up. So yeah, I'm, I'm getting there. I'm getting there as uh, quick as I can. But until next time, I'm Greg, Greg Cook Toy Photography. And uh, get out there and find what you're looking for and photograph it. Have fun with it. So I'll see you guys next time.